Okay, so DroneX has released a new version, version 2.0.2, .2, and basically what it does is it adds support for the DJI Neo. Now it only adds basic support, so basically firmware flashing and items like that. However, there's no no NFC removal, altitude removal, or FCC currently for the DJI Neo. This is just a great tool from the DroneX team that enables us to flash our firmware in a different tool than the normal DJI Assistant 2. So let me just quickly show you how it looks like. Okay, so here you can see we've got DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drones open, and basically this is the tool you would have installed on your machine whenever you get a DJI drone. This is what you use to activate your um, drones with. Luckily with a DJI Neo, there's no need to activate. However, if you turn on your DJI Neo, let me just turn mine on, and you plug it into the computer. So I've just plugged the USB-C cable into the back. You can just see that the application is going to detect the DJI Neo and it is just going to do a basic check of the firmware version if there's any updates or anything available. So let's just quickly take a look at the Neo and see what is currently available. As you can see, I am currently on the latest version. If I wanted to, I can click refresh or I can even downgrade my firmware if I wanted to. You can take a look at the release notes. You can see there's some basic improvements and this is a nice little tool to have if you ever needed to maybe do your firmware over. However, this talks to DJI and it's just usually quite uncomfortable because DJI, when you click the download button, it has to download from their server and it's usually quite busy and it can take a while. But usually this works perfectly fine. It's just that if I have a choice, I would use a non-DJI product because this just sends a lot of information back to DJI. So what we can do is we can use the DroneX application. So you can just go to the DroneX website you can click this new version of DroneX, the one for the Mini 3 Pro. This is version 2, so if you click on that one, you can download it. I have already downloaded it to my machine, as you guys can see over there. And I'm just going to open it quickly on the back. So once the application is open, you can click on Drone. It is then going to do a quick check, just do a basic communication check to make sure everything is 100%. And I can now see that my connection to my DJI Neo is healthy and if I wanted to I can now take a look at my firmware version, my serial number, anything like that. I can also link a license. Now currently there's no support for the DJI Neo's modding like no fly zones, altitude limits and FCC mode but if you linked a license, a 40 euro license then you can un un unlock the health check tab. This is great because you can watch the other video that I created for the Mini 3 where you can see the status of all of the sensors of your drone. Now currently I wouldn't recommend it, just too expensive to pay for a DJI Neo, but if you if you have other drones and you want to check it then it's a pretty cool feature to have. Also if you link a license now and it does become a mod in the future then automatically all of this stuff will become available for you. There's no need to purchase another license. But in our case the only thing I'm worried about is the firmware flasher. So I'm going to click on this one and you're going to see that currently I have these options. I can flash to any of them. However, if you guys notice that we only had version 0200 and 0300 available on the DJI Assistant or to, for consumer drones. But if I want to flash to a very old version, I can click on it and you're going to see that it's going to download the application and I can actually flash back to an older version. But in many cases, there's something called an anti-rollback version, and you, it basically prevents you from downgrading to an older version. So in this case, I'm just showing you guys what's gonna happen if you download to a very old version. There's no reason you guys would do this in the real world, but let's just say for arguments like you're troubleshooting and you're just trying to figure out what the problem is, then this is a possible solution for you that the DJI Assistant 2 for Consumer Drones app does not allow. So in this case, I've just downloaded the firmware, and it's going to automatically do everything. I haven't touched anything yet. I'm literally just sitting back and watching. So usually if there's an anti-rollback version, it's going to be a bit of a problem. But you can take a look at the back. It says firmware version on my current drone is 0100.0300. And the ARB, anti-rollback version, is zero. That means that I can roll back to an older version because there's no number lower than zero. So in this case, I'm downgrading my drone to a lower version version that DJI actually has on their consumer drones application. Very cool feature to have. Anyway, let's just quickly let this run through and I'm going to show you something else that's pretty cool.
so the firmage has finished as you can see now it pops up now this is very important it's actually asking me have i restarted my drone my drone did restart technically during the um, for flashing the firmware but what dronex is asking is for us to restart it manually so i'm going to unplug the cable and i'm going to turn my drone off and once it's done just turn it back on again okay so i can hear it boot it up so i'm just going to plug the cable back in and say yes i have okay cool so you can see that the drone is connected everything is perfectly fine everything's working and my firmware version is now the older firmware version so I can go to firmware flasher and there's a very cool little tool called flash from file and I have already downloaded the latest version so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click open now this is a very cool feature to have because I can download the firmware file manually and have it stored on a location now the great part about this is is that if my internet connection was a problem I don't have a problem with you know when, when you download from the ins the DJI website or the server let's say you've got an unstable internet connection that's just going to be a horrible experience trying to flash your firmware so in this case I can download the firmware yes I could struggle whatever but I can make sure that I download a file and once it's downloaded I can have this application uploaded and flash it. Very useful maybe if you're a repair center or a place where you don't want to constantly keep downloading the files when you're doing the same drone repair or firmware update or software even if you're a store or just a normal user and your friends bring their drones to you because you've got a decent computer or internet connection. So as you can see incredibly easy. I haven't touched the drone again and it's just literally doing everything itself and yeah this is the, probably the best tool about it because so I can download the firmware I want and I can flash it so definitely worth it so while this is running I'm just going to show you where you can get the firmware from you can just go to Google type in dank drone downloader and on this website you can now go and select your brand which could be in this case DJI and then I can just scroll down to whatever drone I want as you can see there are tons of options available there's my Neo select which version I wanted I want and then aircraft click submit and then there's your download button it also shows you your information so extremely cool tool to have because this ability to flash your firmware manually is just something that the DJI assistant app just doesn't offer so this is something that the DroneX guys can pride themselves on a very very awesome little tool Okay, let's just quickly let this run through and then make sure that the Neo is updated to, to the latest firmware. Remember, it's going to do a little check and it's going to have a little pop-up that pops up. It's going to ask me if I've restarted my drone. So I'm just going to go through the whole process again, turning my drone off. And you can see that my firmware is back up to the latest version. So let's just quickly run through the basics over here. This DroneX 2.0 supports the Mini 3 Pro and the DJI Neo firmware update. So this is something you need to know. However, you can go to the DroneX website and you can go download the normal one, the one that covers most other drones. You can see the interface looks different but you still have a flash option so you can just also log in don't need to pay nothing is completely free and you can also do the exact same step where you flash the firmware of let's say your Mavic 2 Pro or your Air 2S or you know any of these other drones that DJI supports and if you want to know which drones it supports just go to available hacks just click on that and you're going to see there's all of the drones that you guys can see currently supported by the application you can see there's a new fcc mod available for the dji new which is pretty cool so let me just go check this out it's also very important always just come check out this application over here it really shows out what's going to happen so in this case if you've got the drone hacks companion app you can install the fcc hack which is going to give you increased range on your dji neo very very cool feature however it is going to cost you a 40 euro license fee now this is pretty cool though because remember if they do unlock the no-fly zones and the altitude limits then you don't need to come buy another license so just for those of you guys that really are struggling in the ce countries and don't get any range this is one option where you can upgrade your neo signal so you can fly out a bit further however just quickly want to make sure that everyone understands let's say you've got a mini 2 and you've uh, got the license you can go and remove the no-fly zones 
the signal, um, FCC mode enabled, and altitude removal can be done as well. But you don't need to purchase this if you just want to update the firmware of the drone. Flashing the firmware, changing some of the parameters are completely free and you do not need to pay for it. All you do is just download this application. It pops up like this. You might need to just create an account on this website as you see over there. You can log in and then you can go to the flash original dji firmware tab and then flash your firmware that you've downloaded from the dank drone downloader website if you guys like what i'm doing over here if you guys find this video useful please click the like button subscribe it really does help out the channel grow if we can spread the word then possibly we can save someone some money that they don't have to send it to a dji repair center to have their drone flashed and and fixed okay see you guys in the next one